Bratz, this video is here to take you step by step on how to build this awesome electric standing desk that we got. If you want to see the full review and hear all of our thoughts, click that link up in the corner and head over to that review video. Let's get into building it. Step one, we're gonna take the two wooden pieces and we're gonna lay them face down. You know what the face is because there won't be any screw holes in the face. We're gonna grab all of our wooden dowel pins and we're gonna use those to connect these together. This feels a little scary, oh gosh. All right, step two, we're gonna need both the leg pieces. That's this one with the big motor on it and this other piece right here. And then we're gonna need one cross member. Motor piece is gonna go on our left side. You're gonna put the crossbar with a big hole facing up because these screws are gonna need to drop all the way in through there. And sometimes I find it easier to just line up the screw first and then come back. It's gonna specify you only want to slightly turn these all in. You just wanna get them basically to where they're attached. And then you're gonna come back once you have all four lined up and actually screw them in. Step three is pretty simple. We're basically just gonna do the same thing, but on the other side. So we're gonna flip this over, grab this one. Grab four of those same screws and do the same thing again. Step four, we're gonna take these two pieces that are actually gonna be the two feet. We're gonna put all of these little feetsies that you can actually level it with on there. Step eight, we're gonna take this part that we made. We're gonna tip this up and then we're gonna use eight of these black screws to attach these to it. Step five. <laughs> eight screws, step eight. Yeah. Step six, we're gonna flip this whole thing over. We're gonna need both of these pieces, four more of these little screws, and then our two hooks here. And on either side, you're going to take these, put your four upward holes facing this way, and then you're gonna hook these on, remembering to attach your hook to one of them while you're at it. And then once you have both of those screws seated, just tighten that down. This is your coupling rod right here. What this is gonna do is this is gonna transfer the power from your motor to the other side to help lift the desk up. So this has a few steps to how we're gonna install this here. So we're gonna pull it all the way through to where it shows a hole there. That is gonna fit over this end all the way down. And then from there, we're gonna extend this and you're gonna wanna feel that go into place in there. Once that's tight on both sides, we're gonna tighten these bolts down with the smaller Allen wrench. These two are tight, we're gonna skip the third one because right now the bar actually isn't contacting inside at that point. We're gonna to skip to the fourth one. At this point, it's now time to mount this to the top of the desk. We've got our motor on our left side. We've got the wire management holes at the back. And now it's just time to put in screws. We're gonna be mounting this box up. This is gonna to need to be able to reach your motor here. So we're gonna to wanna to attach this with the cord facing out this way. This can then plug into here. For now, we're just gonna leave the wires here. We're gonna come back and do a wire management after this is all done. So now you've got your control box. This is gonna face out the front of the desk to where you can reach it when you're done. So you're just gonna attach this right here. And then we're gonna run this back, plug this in here. All right, and then last, this is gonna run to our power unit, which interestingly, they did not add an option for where to mount this, how to mount this. So this is where you're gonna have to decide for yourself if you want this mounted. I don't personally want something this big hanging, but for now, we're gonna take this and bend this back, plug this in there. Last few steps here. Basically at this point, this is gonna come down to some personal preference. They send you these clips right here and these 3M stick tabs to put these on. So you just attach that there and then you decide how you wanna do your cable management down here. So like right now, we've got the cord coming from the motor and the cord coming from the control unit. Two of those are running through there, keeping that nice and tight. And then we got this loose cable hanging. So I'm just gonna hook this on here.
And there's eight of them. So you can do as many or as little as you want. The big question here for me now, this piece is gonna run to your power cord. It's gonna run away from your desk. So it's not really long enough to like mount it anywhere really subtle or well. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just run it directly over this. Cause as long as there's some slack here, this will never get caught by this. This is gonna twist, but it's not gonna do any damage to this. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably put a couple of these down here holding this and then I'll have to get some of my own double stick tape and then stick this thing to the back here. Maybe even kind of facing off at an angle because then there's gonna be computer wires coming through here hanging down to plug into your wall anyways. This could go this way and then those could just blend right in with your computer wires. So surprised they didn't, there's so many things they did a great job of here that I'm surprised there isn't some sort of way that I'm seeing to mount this anywhere. It doesn't come with any brackets. It doesn't come with extra tape for it. So, I mean, theoretically, if I didn't mount this, this would just be hanging directly from the center of the desk towards the floor, so. It's the one thing I feel like there should be a solution for that, but something we can fix ourselves pretty easily. So I'm gonna do that. So I didn't end up using any double stick tape. Our masterful solution, I just used a bunch of these and kind of hooked that cable all through it so that it'll hold this up. So maybe that was their intent. I don't know, it doesn't seem like the most graceful of solutions, but it will work. So we're gonna flip this thing over and these are just gonna pop into place, but you're gonna wanna leave these partially out in the meantime while you do your cable management. So let's get this thing flipped over. Nat has been using this desk for a couple weeks and she absolutely loves it. It's really cool actually, even if people come over just to show them the desk, show them how it raises and stuff. And everybody's always like, ooh, wow. But she's been using it. She spends about half her day sitting and then the other half standing, but it's easy. She can just quickly pop up, scoot her chair back and press the button. It goes right to her height. She's actually using it at 39 inches uh, for her height and she's she's in love with the desk so if you want to see the full review see some fun we had over there and in, in uh checking it out see the desk tested with the full weight of our editor sitting on top of it make sure and head over to that review video i want to say thank you so much keep it locked in here if you want to see we actually got more desk reviews coming we're going to be checking out gaming desks hopefully some more electric desks down the road if you're a gaming content creator or you're just someone who works at a desk a lot it's important to have the right fit for you so thank you so much for hanging out with me today and i will see you in another reality. I want to say the biggest thank you to those of you who have become channel members and any of you who have ever been patrons of ours. Gallium VR, Chris Deputy, Legacy VR, Bagel, and Afissi King Sloth, our current channel members. Our patrons, K27, Rocket Sauce 28, K Panda K, Fred Nepotebo, Ege Karatosh, Maddie's, Gallium VR, Orange VR, and Mr. Dodojo. Thank you so much, everyone, for supporting the channel.